Zika is like any other viral infection, common symptoms of fever, headache, muscle ache. In fact, it's described very much like dengue. But be warned, Zika is much, much milder than dengue infections. In fact, you may not even notice that you're unwell. Summary, fever, headache, muscle ache, a very mild form of dengue. Some people get some red eyes, some people get some red skin. Zika treatment is primarily supportive. We encourage the patient to have lots of rest and lots of fluids. For those people who can't drink well, you may be admitted for intravenous hydration. Simple drugs like paracetamol would be sufficient. Zika is not contagious person to person. You can shake hands with your Zika patient and he'll be fine. But however, it's the mosquito bite that transmits. If your friend has been infected with Zika and a mosquito bites him and subsequently bites you a few days later, you may acquire the infection. I would avoid going to countries with active transmission of Zika. If I do have to go there, I would wear a mosquito repellent. Uh, example is anything that has DEET 15% above. I'll spray it onto my hands, spray it onto my clothing, and for those who are challenged on the head, it has some spray there on the head and the ears, they are radiating heat. If you are wearing flip-flops, remember flip-flops as well. One word of caution, some people are allergic to DEET. Spray on the back of your forearm, make sure you have no allergic reactions. DEET may sometimes affect the costume jewellery which you are wearing, so it sometimes may tarnish the colours. But DEET so far is the best scientific drug to prevent mosquito bites and prevent Zika. Tests are now available to diagnose Zika virus infection from the blood or from the urine. Should you feel unwell, go down to the doctor, get a blood sample and or urine sample according to your day or illness. Turn around, maybe about 1-2 days, and during this time, please avoid getting bitten by mosquito. The next bite may be the next transmission. I will take the person to the doctor and inform the person of the concerns of Zika and the reasons why he went to an active country or there's an active cluster living near where he's working or where he's living. Then the patient should be submitting a blood sample or urine sample for Zika virus testing. Zika is a much milder illness compared to the dengue virus which we know. So it will just take about 7-10 days and you'll be out of it. In fact, most patients will recover totally when the fever ends.